I'm Sarah with the Carib Resort, and we're here at the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo for another coastal adventure. Let's go. Well, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our new zoo. As you know, the, their zoo has been in Gulf Shores mm -hmm. for, since 1989, but we're, our former facility was highly impacted by a variety of hurricanes, so there's a strong push to move it up here. Mm -hmm. And so we've been at this beautiful location for about three and a half years now. Perfect. I know I've been here. I've been to the old zoo. So how much uh, land does the zoo have now? So now this part of it, it we're on 25 acres. Uh, it's quite a lot of movement for the animals now. Yeah, it's quite a bit different than the six and a half or so acres we were on <laughs> before. Animals have a lot more room to roam around in. Um, the whole experience is a lot more spaced out so people get a longer walk. But uh, it's a nice little facility, and we have another 72 acres that we can expand into. Future animals. Yeah. So what would you say are your uh, most favorite animals here at the zoo that people like to come and see? People love to come to see the giraffe. Uh, Benjamin and Akela. We do giraffe feedings twice a day, so you pay a small fee and you get food, and we can actually go right up and feed them. Oh, cool. And of course, we have our other adventures too, similar to what was at the, the old facility mm -hmm. with lemurs and kangaroos and sloth where you get a chance to have an up close and in close experience with those species. Mm -hmm. All right, so since you do have all the expanded space in the animals, are you looking um, into the future of adding any new types of animals? We're, yes, we are. And of course, it takes money to build exhibits. Mm -hmm. We're a private nonprofit, so we depend on people coming through our gates and our donors and everything for us to be able to expand. But yes, we want to do some expansion over in Kula Springs, which is our Australian area. We recently finished a new exhibit for Red River Hog. Yeah. And in the next week or so, we're going to be adding African spurred tortoises to that exhibit. Ah. So it'll be kind of a multi-species exhibit. So we're always looking for uh, opportunities to add new species and new exhibits to the zoo. And uh, we've seen a lot of people walking around, so you do offer camps during the summer? Yes, we have zoo camp this year running for eight weeks. And uh, so people come drop off their child, their students from uh, rising kindergartners all the way through eighth grade can come and go to camp for a week and learn all about the zoo and its animals. And and uh, that runs through um, about August 4th. Perfect. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time. We're excited to uh, go see everything on property that you have to offer here at the zoo. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the written blog on CaribResort.com for more information about the Gulf Coast Zoo and book your next Gulf Coast adventure. Bye!